Xbox has bought Bethesda. Yeah. Yeah. What the actual F? Like, yeah. ha- what? <laughs> what? You know, we've been talking about what Xbox needs to do to really make uh, a fight for this console generation. And it is that exclusives they cannot beat. Now, you know, Caboose, you just said it, right? Are we going to see Elder Scrolls become an exclusive title for Xbox? There is a very good chance. Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. I agree. Very, very I, I disagree. Chance. I disagree with you. A very the reason, good no. The reason that... <laughs> um, no. Just no. No, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Your opinion is invalid because you're wrong. Oh, no, I'm yeah. kidding. Um, you know what? It's it's. I could understand why people will say that. I understand why people are talking about that. But I go back to what Phil Spencer said. Xbox's focus is going forward, making games available on multiple platforms. That's why I do not think we're going to see an exclusive exclusive here. We may see timed exclusive where we see maybe Elder Scrolls come out for, you know, a year or it's early access on Game Pass because we know a lot of their um, exclusive titles are going to be available day one on Game Pass. Um, But we know we're probably going to see that on PC, right? Um, I don't think it's going to be exclusive in the sense as we see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really It'll hope not. Exclusive. I don't. I promise you. It but it, it, actually, no. like the mod community for it's like really, really strong. So maybe well, I, yeah. I, you think I'm maybe willing, I'm willing to bet a lot that Elder Scrolls Six will be console exclusive. Would you bet a PS5 yeah. and or? But you know, even if we look at, <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a PS5 on the line for this one. <laughs> the way I see this deal is yes, I Microsoft owns. Now, Bethesda Softworks, um, and that means like they have Fallout, Doom, Elder Scrolls, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, um, Starfield, which I was really excited uh, to play, still excited to play, Evil Within, Prey, like those big ass, I was going to say big ass titles, they're big ass titles. Um, (laughs) Now, Xbox has that. And yes, they can make it exclusive. I think it's smarter for them and what they're trying to do with having xCloud, with ha- being available on different devices. They're already working with PlayStation in terms of how xCloud could come to or that type of uh, streaming service come to PlayStation. So, you know, they're they're kind of like this inner workings of their friends with everybody. So I don't think if we do see exclusives, like you say, it will be off the bat. I think we're going to see the next Elder Scrolls probably come out for all consoles, maybe with the time exclusives. And maybe after a few years, we'll see exclusives. I think the way especially exclusives are changing in gaming and in consoles um, specifically if it's not built, like if these IPs were not built on being first party. So like say if God of War was not, didn't have the history and legacy of being associated with PlayStation. It, if you had a, like Santa Monica Studios, right? If they were not associated with PlayStation and they created God of War and it was a huge success, even through their partnerships, I don't see why they would sign a deal to have it where it is exclusive to a console that they're I not do. too sure of. I do. Yeah. I think I Elder Scrolls you don't, is... <laughs> I'm just going to say this. Buy it. Buy them out. Because you have to look at worldwide. You think, no, you, you have to think... Acquire, you're looking at a very a North American no, perspective. No, 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 no. What you about Asia? Acquire, the Asian you, market yeah, of gamers. That's exactly what you they're trying to tap into, to go exclusive so that those I, people will buy their consoles. I don't do think people would buy a console... Camille, you look Camille, at you look at the Japanese market. Seven point seven five billion with a B billion. dollars to acquire Man. an IP or to acquire uh, a company yeah. without wanting to at least put something as big as Elder Scrolls exclusive on your console. Cool. I understand that if they do put it multi-platform, they, they would probably put a deal in where they get like I don't know a cut of the of the money considering the the sales from all other consoles, but. The fact that I think it was Phil Spencer's quote when the when the press release went out today, where he said there would be select games that would yes, still end up games. on their consoles. It's yes. very key messaging. It's very yeah. selective wording. Where he wants to still That's provide true. the idea that Xbox is very pro consumer. They're not just buy the Xbox. They're yeah. the, they're play games. That's what yes. the that's what the mantra has been at Xbox. 
So clearly, I think you're going to still see stuff like Fallout on on multi platform. Yeah. I still think yeah. you're, I still think you're going to well. see stuff like Doom on multi platform. But I think Elder Scrolls Six will be exclusive. I am what? okay banking on it. Okay, I could kind of I could see that, Malik. I think. I honestly that the seven billion dollar mark when I first saw that screamed Elder Scrolls only on yep. Xbox. That's yep. that's what it screamed to me because, like I said, PlayStation fanboy. As much as I loved that teaser of God of War, nothing will ever beat that Elder. Don't Scrolls even 6 say teaser. that. Do not. Nothing will <laughs> ever oh my god! Beat that no, that no. was ten seconds. I just of... completely disagree. I completely but, disagree. Damn. But I you have to look at that. you have to look at Elder Scrolls and Fallout as the giants that they are because yeah. no matter no matter where they go, I I said it and I stand by it. If Elder Scrolls Six or another Fallout made by Obsidian and Bethesda is on Xbox One, I will be buying an Xbox One. It is one of those are those are those IPs that have the power to make console sales. Just so I asked Spider-Man you this. Yeah. Last of Us. Still getting re-releases. Like yeah. it's still such a huge game. Xbox would be I, I honestly think they would be foolish not to make it a console, not to make the next Elder Scrolls a console exclusive. It'd be dumb. That'd be a waste of money. This would be a complete fumbling of the bag if they were to not yeah. make Elder Scrolls 6 an exclusive. Okay, so I want to just bring up a little <laughs> like I, okay, I feel you. I want to ask you then, Malik. <laughs> like I agree. Okay. I could see what you're saying, Caboose, in terms of, yes, what Phil said, select uh, titles will be available on other consoles. I get that. So we pro- maybe Elder Scrolls will not be on other consoles. But I do want to bring up the fact that they, like, I don't think this is enough to win the Asian market of gamers. Like, Elder Scrolls in the past, uh, Skyrim, sorry, sold well. Um, but it sold only 200,000 to 300 copies in Japan, right? Um, when, when you look at that market, like if there was a heavy Japanese RPG exclusive, like if they said, okay, Final Fantasy is exclusive to Xbox, yes, definitely they would win over that Asian market. I don't mm-hmm. think that they're going to do that with here. Like Asia is not going to be like, I'm buying an Xbox for Elder Scrolls, maybe over time with seeing what Xbox will deliver with their services, with Bethesda, um, with their other IPs. But I don't think it will be an immediately sell uh, for like specifically the Japanese market. I do want to talk though, Malik, you mentioned it. You would buy an Xbox. Were you not planning on buying an Xbox before? Absolutely not. (laughs) Never. (laughs) I wouldn't. Look, if I bought an Xbox, it would stay in the closet until I played Elder Scrolls (laughs) VI. I I've never been a huge fan of Xbox, but mm-hmm. I I will say that this year specifically, they have done everything right. They have checked the boxes, they have worked with their community, they are they are finally listening to what fans want and and giving it to them. The the whole Xbox Game Pass as a whole yeah. is insane because crazy. I don't know I don't know if they really need to win the Asian audience. But they made it a point. Is... They they don't necessarily need to, but they said that they're do they're trying to work on things specifically to expand that market. Um, and right. I don't think this is necessarily it. Um, although you know, Elder Scrolls like Bethesda has great titles. I they don't scream like you know, the Japanese market, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Um, I do want to yeah. get to some comments. I, I know. Firstly, I want to say alpha. Thank you for those bits. That was beautiful. Thank you. Uh, you had a question about price points in pounds for the PlayStation and I'm trying to find them for you, but I had it. I just had it. I legit <laughs> just had it. Oh no, I have it right here. Okay. So for the full console, it is um, in pounds four forty nine ninety nine, and for the digital go. edition three fifty nine ninety nine. So there you go. Uh, specifically for you from my mouth from the PlayStation <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> are, are the, um, oh, are the yeah. consoles expandable? Like the discless versions? No. Like the Ooh. data. Uh, you, oh, I don't know. You, I don't know if you might. You probably could put an external hard drive in it. I don't. I wouldn't see, see why, why not. Because you could yeah. just attach it from the front. Um, 
also in chat, I, I want to say Raggio about this whole Bethesda thing mentions, would it make a, would a con- making it a console exclusive make them more money? Thousand That's a really good yeah. question. You think so? Thousand, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thousand. Because if you think about, right, if you think about, let's say that they sell a million copies of Elder Scrolls Six, right? Mm-hmm. On and they make it on all platforms. That that's great, but what happens when you sell, let's say, a hundred thousand copies of Elder Scrolls with an Xbox One or Series X? Mm-hmm. That's going to make you significantly more money. I think for them, it's just going to be a balancing act of figuring out. Well, if this title is big enough to sell consoles, why why yes. wouldn't we just you know keep it at least for like a timed exclusive? Listen, and that's the thing. I feel like be... yeah. There's going to be some PlayStation crybabies who, even though they have their Spider-Man, even though they have their Uncharted, even though they have their God of War, even though they have their Last of Us, even though they have their Horizon, we even though they have their Ratchet and Clank, are still going to be like, well, why can't I have this one? Um, it's like you can't have, have them all. all. Why not? But, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but, but yeah they, like if, if, they, if it's console exclusive, granted, while there might be some blowback from those people that for some reason will be extremely hypocritical about that opinion, uh for the most part this will i mean look at look at malik as the perfect example he yeah. has no interest in getting an xbox right now zero <laughs> not not nothing and all all you have to say is elder Scrolls 6 exclusive to xbox and he's got his 500 dollars <laughs> ready to go for the xbox series x like yeah that's yes. all he needs that and i guarantee there are so many more people just like Malik in the same position where yeah. nothing but, sold them yet on the Xbox. But if Elder Scrolls 6 was exclusive, it would. They would at but least get also, the digital version. Yeah. yeah. But also if they bring it, if they bring it to their Microsoft store and it does go on Game Pass or I'm able to play it on PC, that that would be change things up. big thing. That and, would change things. If it's on PC, I think... I think you're. I think when it, if it goes on PC and Xbox, the next gen, I don't think they have to worry about. Uh, I don't think they have to worry about PlayStation at all because mm-hmm. I bought. I've bought. But that's Elder what I'm saying. Scrolls. Go I ahead, bought go Skyrim. Ahead. I bought Skyrim on PC and PS3 when it first came out. I bought the definitive edition on PS4, and then I bought uh, the definitive edition again on PC for a separate Steam account. I think that it does so, and especially when you look at the mod community, like Alex said, I think that it has such a dedicated fan base that putting it on PC with their Xbox Game Pass in their own little ecosystem, I think that that could be a title that truly sets Xbox up for success going into their next generation. I don't think that there's many titles that they have that could bring them success besides but, Halo. But see, that's what I'm saying, right? Like. I, I get, yes, Bethesda has so many titles that Xbox could make exclusive and get people to buy a console. But if a lot of those titles are available on PC day one, for me, it's like, I know I'm getting an Xbox and PlayStation 5 no matter what. I'm going to be playing on both of them like I have for this gen. I love them both. But for someone who is battling between which one to buy, you know, and they want to play God of War or they want to play whatever's going to replace Uncharted, those exclusives that have those legacy brands with PlayStation, they could do that and also get Game Pass on PC. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so it's going yeah, to it's going to be interesting. You, I think to you see. overestimate the amount of people that like who, who play on consoles that would have a good enough PC to run these games. You know, mm. there is definitely okay. a large audience of people who have a good enough PC to get something like an Elder Scrolls Six and have it running on like max settings or something, or even just on the minimum requirements. But there's also a lot of people who they just prefer to have their console, they prefer to have the controller and all that, like all that stuff. It, it's that's just the way that some people think. You know, like for for me, you know, if if every PlayStation exclusive was coming to PC, I wouldn't buy a PlayStation. You know, I would just play them all on PC. Yeah, but I, I, you know, they're coming to PlayStation. I like having a console. I like having a controller in my hand. It's a weird thing that's kind of inexplainable, but there is a big audience for that. Yeah. Well, Mm -hmm. I feel like to secure the future for whatever, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox, you have to have really great stories. Both consoles, both companies have both um, in terms of games to offer, but you Mm -hmm. also have to, to have really good services 
And mm-hmm. that's why I think they may focus more on their services and selling those services than their consoles um, yeah, and true. making, you know, so I don't know. I feel like we'll be discussing this one <laughs> more as they release more details on what this means for them specifically with exclusivity um, or Game Pass and which titles will be on their services exclusive. Um, but I want to move on because we're running out of time. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've talked a lot of consoles. <laughs> 